As a mixed media artist, I use a variety of tools and techniques, which just are a lot of fun. So I'll give you a short little demonstration. Here's a, an example of a 12 by 12 canvas that I've already got a colored ground on. In this case, it's Primaria Magenta. And what I'm gonna do just to loosen myself up and get my brain in gear, I'm just gonna take an ordinary graphite pencil and make some squiggles, some lines, maybe press a little harder, press a little lighter, do some squiggles, do some straights, whatever I feel like doing, because it's all about intuition. Just go with the flow. Then I'll look at this and say, okay, what would I like to do next? Uh, first of all, I'm gonna turn the canvas. Turning the canvas, get a whole new look on things. I'm gonna use my brayer. Seems like a really good choice of tool because I wanna put some black down there. So I've got a little bit of black on my brayer, and, which is a fancy word for roller. And now I just kind of move it around. And however I like, I can make lines, I can make squiggles, all fun. And, um, and that's that. And so I'll take a little break while this dries. This is what I see when I'm finished the drying process. It's not totally dry, but it'll do for our purposes. So now I'm gonna turn the canvas again, look at it, and go, what do I think I would like to do? What fun can I get into? So you can do stamping, you can do collage, you can uh, do line work, but in this case, I'm just going to use an ordinary washer and see what trouble I can get into. And lovely little colors coming along. I just put them wherever I like. Some people, when they do this process, they're very neat. I'm not, but that's okay. All right, so I've got all of that down. And uh, the thing that I like about mixed media is that you can use alcohol ink, you can use India ink, you can use oil, you can put in some watercolor, you can use a mixture of heavy bodies, soft bodies, and in this case, I've got a high flow. So I'm gonna put a few drops of the high flow in and we'll see where this goes. And I can just let this strip down and this one is called Violet Permanent Dark. So it's kind of a fun color to go on top of magenta. I'm just gonna let this run for a few minutes. In fact, I think what I'll do is I'll aid it along with a little bit of water. Because it's primarily an acrylic, the water is a good, Bet right now and you can see that when I spray I get all these funky little textures and little marks and that's all good we don't want anything too perfect now what I think I might do is take a catalyst tool that has all these funny little ridges on it and I'll just start scraping in places and this gives again some fun fun to the painting and I don't have to make it all the same. I can go in different directions. I can really jazz it up a bit and just have fun. And that's what I do as a mixed media artist. I just have fun.